Well, I'm sure you've heard uh, good things happen to people who wait or patience is a virtue. Yeah, that's always challenging when you want kind of instant gratification in your gardens. Well, if you're heading into establishing a wildflower or a native garden or a pollinator garden, you're gonna need patience and you're gonna need a lot of patience. Not a bad thing, just the native seeds take a little bit longer to establish, which means they take one, two, three years to really, really get going. Hey, I'm Glenn here at the gardens of Castle Rock. I'm out in our pollinator, try to get there, our pollinator wildfire garden that we added this last year. So we're in second year. It's now June, summer. Uh, we planted this in August of last year, which means it's time for first year maintenance. And as much as you want, or I want, to kind of let some of the Black Eyed Susans bloom and see a little bit of pretty, we're gonna do our first year maintenance. This first year is more about getting the roots established and getting the seeds or those little wildflowers to establish roots and grow down. The hard side is the weeds which are uh, compete on how fast they grow and how big they get. We need to take care of them. Three methods that we're going to use today to do this first year maintenance. One, I'm going to pull a few weeds. Weeds that don't necessarily have a big root system, but I'm just going to get them out of there. Two, I'm going to do a little bit of clipping. So there's a handful like the penny weed. I'm just going to cut it off because I don't want the root system to pull everything up. And three is I'm going to use a weed whip and I'm going to whip it all down and, and bring it down to size. So. I'll show you a little bit of that and then we'll do a little bit of wrap up in a bit, but let's get doing some maintenance. All right. All right, getting in here. This is going to be one of those easy ones to pull out. Not much of a root, but you can just even see when I take this up um, how much this is shading the area around it, preventing the rest of it to from growing up. So we're going to do that. Uh, example, same thing, like a ragweed, we're going to cut him off low, and a handful of these big guys, we're just going to take that off. It's not going to fully kill the weed, but it's going to knock it down and just let everything else grow. The last one I'm going to show you here is like these big guys. All right, each one of these right here is like a million little weed seeds and we want to get those out of here. So we just don't want to drop them on top. All right. Okay, pulling the weeds, cutting it off, that went pretty quick. I think that helped when we did the burn last year, sterilized the soil just a little bit, but that was the first step, we got that out. Now we're going to do the uh, weed whipping. And I wanna point out one thing, it's not that we're just gonna go out and cut everything down, we're actually gonna kinda do it in a two-step process where we're gonna weed whip the top and then slowly work them down. What we don't want is the whole weed that's there just falling over on top of the prairie we'll want to try to kind of mulch it a little bit so hopefully I can capture that and you can see it but we're gonna weed whip we've got a fair amount of ragweed that kind of came up in here we're still trying to get that under control here but that's what will happen don't forget your safety glasses those things you put in your ears and all of that fun stuff um, weed whip weed whip let's do it
there we go. Earplugs too, how about that? All right, there we go, all cut down. A couple little things that I'll just mention while I was thinking about while I was weed whipping. I'm not going all the way down to the ground, I'm trying to do four to six inches. So I'm just trying to get the high stuff, cutting off the flowers, I know it hurts, I know it hurts, but uh, the wildflowers that is. But just trying to get everything down, let those roots grow there. One other thing that I noticed in the middle of the big ragweed, and it's another method that you can use to take care, is spot spraying. There was some burdock in there, you know, a good dozen little plants, so there's a possibility later this summer that I'll go in there and uh, spot spray that burdock. There you go. Uh, first year maintenance on the prairie here at the garden, the wildflowers. It's kind of cool, the milkweed off on the side over there actually has quite a few monarchs in it, so when this gets going, this pollinator garden, wildflower garden is just gonna be gorgeous, not just for photos for the weddings, but just gorgeous for uh, all the birds, the bees, the butterflies, you know that fun stuff. Hey, Glenn here at the Gardens of Castle Rock. Thanks so much for watching, you know what to do. There's a bell down there, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Appreciate you took the time to watch. That's it, enjoy, bye-bye. <laughs>